Let's go! Wow, look at all this cool stuff. Oh, basketball. Oh, look, a hat. That's neat. Oh, look, oh, it's a hammer and nails. Oh, hey, my friends, it's me, Handyman Hal. Hope you're doing absolutely awesome today. <laughs> I'm here at a really awesome place. This is a 3D printing workshop. Oh, and it belongs to my friend, Mr. Joel. And he's printed all of these awesome things. Oh, now this is a nice hammer when it's really heavy too. Hey, Hal. Oh, Mr. Joel. How you doing? I'm great. How are you today? I see you found my hammer. Yes, this is a really cool hammer and it's really heavy too. Yeah, that's metal. Oh, that's so cool. And you 3D printed all of these things. Yeah, everything on the table here is 3D printed. Wow. You know, my friends, all kinds of cool things can be made by 3D printing, right? Absolutely. Oh, things that's a lot of fun and some things that are very useful too, right? Super useful, <laughs> super fun, and sometimes they could be the same thing. Right? Like this. Check it out. Oh, show them. A hammer <laughs> and some nails. That's right. These are printed in a resin, so a liquid that is formed over time. And it's never going to be as good as a regular construction hammer, but it kind of works. Oh, oh, wow. You want to try we, it? That would be great. <laughs> well, let's move the basketball out the way there. Look, we've got some really cool wood here. So, let's see here. We're going to put it there. Let's see. Wow! And look, it's already started going inside the wood. Wow! Oh, that is awesome! So now, now. now, Hal, you're never going to build a house with a 3D printed hammer and nail. But it's a really good example of prints that work that you wouldn't think woodwork right that's so cool probably could use this in the workshop back home yeah <laughs> also you can get some useful things out of 3d printing that's right and look oh. a lot of fun things too i knew you would love that that is a 3d printed airless basketball did you see that my friends you can see through it a little bit can you see me <laughs> wow you know what's really really cool about this what it bounces, it right? It does, it does, absolutely. Oh, 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 this is cool. Would you like to see? Check this out. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Isn't that cool? Wow. You can go play some basketball, shoot some hoops. All from a 3D printing model. Look at that. <laughs> that is cool. Now, how long do you think it took you to make this? Something like this takes a little bit longer than some of the traffic codes you printed. Right. So we're talking a day and a half. Maybe two days. Mm, that's not bad. <laughs> and of course, it's got to be orange, right? It is. It is. It's a safety <laughs> orange. Let's see if I can. Oh, wow. Wait, wait. Let's see. Ready? Oh, awesome oh. job. That was great. <laughs> oh, and look. There are even some really cool hats. <laughs> let's try one. Let's see. Oh, how does it look? <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> Looks good to me. And look, he's even got... Your awesome logo on that that's hat. That's right. That's right. Someone made a logo for me and I put it on the hat. Wow. That's great. <laughs> oh, even some Halloween stuff over here too. That's <laughs> right. 3D printing is great for Halloween. Wow. Oh, how about we take this hat and put it on there? <laughs> that looks so awesome. Now he's safe. Absolutely. You never can be too safe. <laughs> well, you know, Mr. Joel, you can print all kinds of really awesome things, right? That's right. Absolutely. Is there any other really cool, awesome things that we could print? Oh, well, sure. I could show you cool things that you could print. I can also show you a room where I have 50 3D printers what? printing things. Yeah. Well, before we go, I've got to chop this. <laughs> Look at that. It's here. Does Hal need a new hairdo? Well, maybe. Let's try. All right, let's see. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow. How do I look? Fantastic. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, we can have so much fun. Do you know, I think I really want to go see that room. Great. Well, I'll show you. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wow. Here we are. Mr. Joel, 
this is awesome. <laughs> I thought you'd like it. Oh, this is so, how, how many 3D printers are in here? In this part of the farm, there are 50 3D printers. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of 3D printing. It's a lot of 3D printing. <laughs> oh, well, what kind of 3D printers are these? So these are from a company called Prusa, and these are the Mark IV-S 3D printers from Prusa. Oh, wow, that's a lot of really cool printers. I now, thought you'd like the colors. Oh, <laughs> they're great. They're orange. I love it. <laughs> you know, Mr. Joe, you do have a lot of printers here, and I know you get some really awesome orders to print all kinds of cool things. What is the biggest order that you've ever gotten? The biggest order we did, you're gonna love this, 80,000 parts from these machines here. 80,000. Wow. That is a lot of parts. That's a lot of pretty printing. It was too. Uh, so much, it was how, so much. How long did it take you to print all those pieces? Months. So we started in November and we just finished a few weeks ago. Wow, <laughs> yep, that sure is a lot of printing. <laughs> well, what were all those pieces for? Those pieces were actually for this. It's an XRP robot. Wow, now all of those pieces, well, of course not the wires, no. <laughs> but all of those pieces were 3D printed? All of the gray parts were 3D printed by us on our print farm. Oh, and wow. And it was for a company called SparkFun who makes the electronics and then sells these kits to kids and schools and teaching places. Wow, so what, what is this? This is a robotics learning platform. So it's a really simple way for kids of all ages to get interested in robotics and learn about how to code them. So as an example, see this part up front? Yeah. That's called an ultrasonic sensor. And it can tell the robot how close or how far away it is for something. That's really cool. So in the brain of this robot, you write a little code and you say, go until you get this far from something and then stop and the robot can do that. Wow, that's or, really neat. Or this part on the bottom. Have you seen those robots that follow the line really fast? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This can do that with this sensor. It's wow. called an iridescence sensor. And so it can sense the black line versus the white paper that it's on yeah. and follow it. Oh, that's awesome. 3D printing can be used for all kinds of stuff. <laughs> sure can. Even building really cool robots. Even robots. <laughs> oh, that you can learn on, of course. Of course. Well, that's really cool. Do you do you have any other printers that print some really special stuff? You're talking about stuff that not everybody can do, right? Of course. Oh, okay. Hal, I've got just the thing. It's in the other room. Let me show you. Come on, let's come on, go. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, wow. Mr. Joel, what kind of printer? Is this? Oh, I thought you'd really like this. This is from a company called Mimaki, Ooh. and it uses colored inks to make three-dimensional figures. Wow, so that's a lot different than just the single filaments that we put in that's a right. 3D printer. Wow, these are so cool. Man, that's a really cool dragon. Oh, I thought you'd like that. <laughs> so it uses ink. Yeah, think of it this way. You know, uh, your paper printer at home, when you print out a recipe or instructions on how to do something, imagine that printing over and over again in the same spot. And that's essentially what it's doing. It's just stacking papers, but in this case, inks for models. Wow, oh, and is that the ink there? Yep, these are all the inks. There's cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And then there's white, clear, and support material, just in case, like something like this, you can't just print it like that. You need some support material. Right. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. So it's just like a regular inkjet printer at home. Print out these really cool figures. <laughs> and they're a little bit more denser than, oh, than like yeah. a regular 3D printer. Yes, it is It is 100% dense. So there, it's, it's full of something. And Hal, this one kind of shows you the process. So this is a really cool dragon, oh, right? Wow, look at that. <laughs> now watch this. If I turn it over, ooh, this is, this is a, a cross section of it. So that color you see is just like the skin and the rest of it is this material. And in this one, it's white. Wow, that's but, really cool. But here, hold the dragon. Let's say you wanted something that had some clear material in it or what if the material on the, on the inside of this was clear instead of the white? You can do stuff like this. Oh, wow. So you can yeah. see it has the color on the outside, but the inside is clear, so it's a little translucent. And I can 
put my light through. Oh, wow! Oh, how much you troll that? This is really neat. Oh, I thought you'd like that, Al. That's really neat. That's like, that's almost kind of like a, maybe a little figure that we use on a board game. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. You really do have some really neat printers. I kind of do. What else do you have? Right over here. Come this way. Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Joel. Yeah? Now, these look really interesting. What do you have here? These are a resin printing setup. Resin being there's a liquid that's cured with light mm. over and over and over again until you get a 3D object. Oh, that's cool. That's the printer that has the liquid and it has the light. And then down below here is what's called the wash. And you have mm. to wash it when it's done to get any excess material kind of off the model. Mm -hmm. And then up here, is the cure. It's like a microwave oven, but with UV <laughs> light and it Ooh. cures it. And it says the cycle's finished. Why don't you open it up and take the part out? It's, it's, this is the handle? That's the handle. Oh, wow. You're right. It looks just like a microwave. Yep. <laughs> and inside this microwave is a steering wheel. Wow. Now that's really, my friends, look at that. Oh, that is really interesting. Oh, no. What can we use this for? Well, for steering a car. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a way, imagine this, Hal. You're someone who designs steering wheels and you want to know what it's going to feel like in your hands before you send it off somewhere to be mass produced. So what you can do is use a 3D printer like this to print it at the size you want it so you can hold it and feel it and see how it See how it feels in your hands. Wow. And then once that's good, then you know you can send it off to be mass produced because you've held it in your hands. So it's like if you are designing a car, right? Mm -hmm. You can actually design the pieces before they actually make the car. 100%. That's oh, right. That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa. Isn't this the same material that the hammer and nails were made out of? It's the same type of material, but... It is a, it has a different chemistry. So the nails and the hammer were made with a strong resin. And so it has to sit in that wash for an hour and it has to sit in the cure for an hour. But it's something like this. The steering wheel is made with a resin that doesn't cost as much. Oh. It's built for prototyping, for printing that example to make sure it works. And so this only has to sit in the wash and the cure for five minutes. It doesn't take long, with the idea being you want to get something quick so you can see how it feels. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> That's really awesome. Oh, wow. Mr. Joe, look <laughs> at this. <laughs> I knew you would find that. Wow. This is a really cool lion. And this has been 3D printed? Yes, that is totally 3D printed. Now, the, my audience named him Blue Fossa. Blue Fossa. Oh, <laughs> that's really cool. And how did you do the mane on this thing? It's a really cool process that uses a 3D printing technique called bridging. So bridging, if you have one point here and one point here, and you print all the way across from one point to another, and there's nothing underneath, that's called bridging. Mm -hmm. So for the hairs, they're all sticking out attached to this wall and so you print the whole thing and then when you're done you take a knife to cut the hairs away from the wall mm -hmm. and then you use a hair dryer or a heat gun to then style it and that's <laughs> it style hair yeah oh wow that's really neat <laughs> i might have to make that my own 3d printer <laughs> you know you got some really cool things up here yeah there's still more cool things oh the shoes wow look at that Pretty crazy, right? Yes. <laughs> you can 3D print shoes. You can 3D print <laughs> shoes, yeah. That is awesome. And it looks like they would be pretty comfortable too. Yeah, they're they're not too bad. They take a little bit of getting used to, but I've worn these and uh, I don't know. Anytime I put these on, I feel like stomping. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. It's a cool basket here. Yeah. Oh, do you know do you know what this looks like? What? This looks like red liquor yes. candy. Perfect. <laughs> It's called a rope bowl. The person that made it called it a rope bowl and printed it in brown to look like rope. And I thought, what if I printed it in red? 
and we made a licorice bowl. Wow. <laughs> it's an awesome candy bowl. It does look You tasty. can put candy inside of it. You can put candy in the candy bowl. That's right. Oh, that's all. Oh, look. It's a job. It's a speaker, too. It is a speaker. Oh, uh, uh, now, and? Now, this, though, remember that, that XRP robot I showed you where it had printed parts and electronics? Yeah. Same thing with the speaker. Wow. And I wonder if it sounds sounds good. It Here, sounds maybe I could so Maybe I could good. turn the volume up. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> you have great choice of music. Mr. I know. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, now what is this here? Oh, this is a fun little game. Here, let's move that out of the way. So one of the things you can do with 3D printing is make toys and games that are fun mm -hmm. to enjoy. This one usually use marbles. I sized it up to take golf balls. And if you lift it, Ooh. the golf balls move. Wow, look at that. So if you do it really fast, and look, they're moving in a figure eight. <laughs> that is totally neat. <laughs> so 3D print for shoes and candy bowls and speakers and lions and games and all kinds of cool stuff. Anything you can think of. I do see one really awesome thing. I really don't know what it is. What is that? This? Oh, well here, move that out of the way. This is called a death racer. What? It looks really cool. Oh, look, it looks like you. It does kind of look like me, doesn't it? My, my little guy right there. Yeah. The Death Racer is a community project where everybody can print the parts. And then at certain events that we go to, everybody brings their racers and there's 30, 40, 50 of them together. And they all battle. They run around and this part is trying to knock the head off. Usually it's forward, but if you knock the head off, there's a switch Ooh. and it disables the racer. And so then you're out for that round. Wow, that's really neat. <laughs> they say, don't get your head knocked off. Oh, <laughs> that's really cool. Wow, Mr. Joel, I've had a totally awesome time coming to your workshop today. I'm so happy mm -hmm. you could come and see the workshop and all the cool stuff we do here, Hal. It's been awesome. 3D printing is so much fun, helpful, and educational too. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> There's one more thing though. The hammer, it's your favorite tool. It is my favorite tool. So that hammer we talked about earlier, what if this 3D printed hammer could join your other hammers back in your workshop? Oh, yes. Oh, for real? Absolutely. That is awesome. Let's see, this is number 18. I think it might be number 18, number 19. 18. Oh, yes. Oh, well, thank you, sir, so much. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, well, my friends, we've had such an awesome day today learning about 3D printing and all of the awesome stuff and Getting to hang out with my friend, Mr. Joel. It was a good time. Thank you for having us, sir. Thanks, Al. Have a great day. Yeah, and thanks too. for watching Amy now. We'll see you later. Bye, everybody. <laughs>